second piece of this evening's concert, Raga Jai Javanti. Raga Jai Javanti is a very popular late evening melody in North Indian music and is considered a mixture of a number of ragas, usually considered to have a romantic mood. Here the mood is one of joy and freedom. And I would be playing three pieces. First, Aochar, which is a brief alap, not the detailed alap I played in the last raga. This would offer you a glimpse of the main melody, just to offer me an opportunity to move on to the next two pieces. The first one set to Jhaptal, beat cycle of 10. The second one in Tintal, beat cycle of 16. Raga Jai Javanti.
also uh, romantic mood. Yes, Not the first one. The first one was actually mood of prayer. And yes, yeah. but the, the interesting thing is the first one I felt also is describing also the beauty of the landscape and sometimes these things melt together. Yeah, actually you could also conceive of divine romance. Yes. Krishna and Radha. <laughs> That's what, I'm, what you said. So all these feelings we have towards landscape or towards poetry or towards people can be also a feeling of divinity if it melts together. And uh, also in the second part, it was, uh, it was not the Bhairavi, which was played a lot of time here also, but it was very close to the feeling of Bhairavi. Yeah. 
and uh, really it was very beautiful. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. I also, I also want to say something. Uh, uh, those of us who, who know tabla players, uh, they know that the big art is not to show the whole skill. But those who know tabla players, uh, they feel that uh, you were quite hold back <laughs> in your skills. And uh, the big art is, of course, to support the main player, which was very, very beautiful. And we saw some glimpses of your skills, which were, by the way, awarded this year. I think this year, or uh, was it some years ago, that you were awarded the, the, the main or the best mm -hmm. uh, player in India, or the newcomer in yeah. India? A this few years back. A few years back. Yes. Whatever. We are very fortunate to have you here, and thank you very much. So thank you for uh, your attention, for the love with which you listen to our music, your patience, your concentration for us also. I believe that music performance is just not a one-way traffic. Our vibrations reach you. Your vibrations also come back to us to inspire us to give our humble best. I have two things to say. One is I do appreciate, as I said at first, the ambience of such places, yoga centers, meditation centers, and I respect their principles in having the music performance with natural sound. Because, first of all, that was the way they had it in the ancient period when music used to be performed. So, <clears throat> it goes with the meditation, it goes with the meditative modes. But I would like to say this, just give it a little bit of thought. In those days, the chambers where music used to be performed, whether the royal courts or the temples, had very special type of architecture and very special type of natural acoustics, where it is historical fact that Tan Sen used to sing in his part of the palace and Emperor Akbar used to listen in his bed chamber. So that was because of the architecture, the acoustics, and there was a, there was a passage through which the sound could come. So without sound system, it was quite okay in those days. But in the present day, not all places are constructed with that in mind, that music will be played here or the acoustics will be okay. So our problem, to some extent, you might have also experienced it. There are two things. Sitar especially is a very fine-grained instrument. So for the sitar sound to reach the finest vibrations and the shrutis, the overtones, to, for those to reach the audience, a little bit of amplification is needed, number one. And this, secondly, there are parts of the music which have elements of power also. So in those places, tabla being the naturally louder instrument, if you do not have any amplification, you cannot balance the two. So we tend to unconsciously put extra pressure, extra effort, for which the instrument was frequently going up and down in tuning. So you, you could consider having a little bit of amplification, don't give way to any kind of rigidity. I mean, very loud sound, as is the case here, I mean, in the modern music, that is not my objective. I'm saying you have such nice speakers, little bit of amplification so that we do not have to give so much of effort, so much of pressure so the instrument stays in tune. You will be able to feel what you did not feel. You give very, very big honor to us. I think we are nice listeners, but maybe we did not feel that particular <laughs> difference. Yeah, you and did I not feel, I'm sure, but if you have it, you well, will no? Yeah. You hear heard everything, but if you have a sound system, you'll hear a little bit more than everything. Only then you can compare. Okay. You Next can't compare week. with only one. We promise. Okay. We promise. So you can just experimentally, yes, experimentally, if you have not a concert, just bring some musician who is visiting Munich, have him here, have some audience, no, no performance. I would be happy to do it if I come for a performance. Just compare and then tell me. And the last announcement, which is also very important, we have some CDs of our music available right here with us. If any of you would like to preserve a sample of our music, you are most welcome to approach us here and the CDs are available. Thank you once again for everything. Thank, Thank you. you very much.